Hello and welcome back to the Ramble SMP. I apologize for the noise. Uh, I don't know what is going on here. I think this one and maybe also this one is making the minecart noise. But for now, we will just go ahead into this and just, yeah, disable that because that's way too loud. Anyways, if you didn't watch the last episode, we built this ginormous thing. Yes, we built a huge gold farm, but it is not only a gold farm, it is also a XP farm. So I spent a little while AFKing after the last episode, and well, I got 120 levels pretty quickly, but I um, I messed up a bit. I don't know what you would normally say, but if you have a very sharp eye on this view, you should be able to see that I've done a mistake or that something is wrong. I'll give you a bit of time to think about it. It's on the right and the left of me. Alright, if you saw that there are no pigmen or subified piglins on that block and that block, you would be correct. And this is in fact an issue, because these are the anger, uh, I, I call them anchors, or the messengers you can call them. There's supposed to be a piglin there with a name tag so it doesn't despawn, which basically makes it so all the pigmen when they spawn, they rush down here, and when the new ones spawn, this guy tells them, hey, be angry, this guy shot at us, and then they go and also die, and then it becomes an endless cycle. But when I was editing the last episode, I actually noticed that I accidentally <laughs> shot one of them, and I actually after that shot another, and I don't know, either I must have... I don't know, but all four of them are missing, so that means I need four new name tags, and well, I need to push some more over there, but that shouldn't be too big of an issue. We'll come back and do that in a bit. But first, we need to go back home to our base. Because I don't actually have any name tags myself, I need to go ahead and buy some from Amradon's villagers. And yes, today we will actually be building the storage barn, I'm, I'm calling it. I don't know if it's a good name, but okay. Yep, every episode, more or less, Edvara has built something new. <laughs> He's an interesting neighbor, I must say. But anyways, we must start off. As you can see, I have no uh, name tags whatsoever here, so I need to bring some, I think, emeralds. I don't think I need anything else. Hopefully not. And we shall go to Amrogoth's place. But first, I just want to show you the shop that Kid has made, because I don't think I've actually shown you yet. It is basically his rocket shop, but I just want to show it, because I think it looks great. I think it looks amazing. <laughs> I love this. Okay, this door might have been me, but I, I love this. One diamond per stack of row kits, soup is free. I don't think I can resist some beetroot soup. I have actually bought a lot of uh, firework rockets from here. Now, one thing that actually did unfortunately happen when I was building that pigment farm, I actually lost my helmet, which, ow. But yeah, I accidentally lost my helmet while building that pigment farm, so yeah, that's a bit unfortunate, but I'm sure, oh yeah, I need to, I should probably turn this back on though not too loud because they're loud as it is all right i think it is this guy yep 20 emeralds per name tag ay 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 20 28 oh wait this guy didn't even have a name tag 20 20 i see you <laughs> right so it looks like all of them are 20 um i need four okay good he still has emeralds for sale One diamond per stack nah you get two <laughs> <laughs> and another. All right, there we go. And now I can eat my beetroot soup. <laughs> Lovely. All right, now let's head home. All right, onto my trusty anvil, and we shall name these piglins Angry Boys. Uh, yeah, because why not? And we will then fly back up to the farm, lower the friendly creatures again. I really need to fix that, if it is fixable, because that is a pain. Now, what is also a pain is when there's no piglins nearby, but this one and that one, basically all the other ones should be fairly easy to do. Now what I need to do is just hold down shift, very painfully, um, and then just make a little bit of a path. This actually wasn't that painful. I just had to kinda push them along like this, and eventually, don't fall buddy, and there we go. That's one. Now I just need to do the three others. And it's very painful because you have to hold out shift and you move so slowly. It's also a pain when they are very far away. But 
I'll get it done, and I'll be back. There we go. Name you. Careful not breaking that block. All right. That's two down, two to go. And boom. That's three. And that's the fourth. All right. Beautiful. That was slightly painful, but not too bad. That's actually a trick. If you get in here, you can easily get back in this chamber by just doing that. Also, I forgot to show you, we actually have a lot of gold. Now, obviously, we have a lot of gold and swords. So what I definitely want to do is eventually I want to make some sort of sorting system. But for now, this is just fine. We have a lot of gold in here. But anyways, that is probably... The last thing that we do in the nether for this episode anyway, because we need to do a bunch of other stuff. All right, the next thing I want to do is find a location for my storage barn. Now, it is quite big. It is 25 by 15. And I'm not sure where I would place it other than either over there by those tree, because that's pretty big when it comes to the area. So that's not that might not be a half bad idea. Though I don't know if I ever want to do anything with the mountain back there. In fact, let's fly over and take a look. Yeah, that kind of goes in... In like a... This is actually a very interesting area. I like it. But yeah, I could fit it right here. But again, maybe we want to do something back here. I don't know. It might get in the way. Maybe if we terraformed and moved some of this. But anyways, I thought of another place. And that is actually up here on this hill. I'm kind of thinking of it being right here. So this is the length right here, from that torch to that torch, and then 15 the other way. Yeah, I th I actually think it's actually gonna look very, very cool up here. And if we then have a path down, leading down here, over to the road. Yeah, I think I'm sold. I think I'm sold. We're building it here. Now, I already have a plan for said storage barn and how I want to build it. So I already know what kind of resources that I want and need. One of those being spruce logs, which I should have an abundance of. I think I also need a bit of deep slate as well, though I'm not 100% sure. We'll focus on the outside of the build for now. Yes, this is perfect. And I already have a bunch of calcite, which is really, really good. Um, right, but that is just... That seems to be about it. And these two shulker boxes also seem to be my only shulker boxes. I need calcite. And um, I guess this is a good time to say that we have updated to 1.18. <laughs> guess I should have said that at the start, but I didn't. So, yeah, here we are. So that means that in my mine, right, I was mining at bedrock. But, or right above bedrock anyway. But this means that the bedrock level will now be have been replaced with deep slate, which means I now have access to a huge amount of deep slate in my mine. Like we're on Y level 10 right now. So normally there would be, and this is not the best place to showcase it, but if we mine down, definitely not the right place to showcase it. But if we go to like here, seriously, it's everything down here, just like casually. Nope, here we go. So if we look at the coordinates. We're now on y equals zero and now minus one. All of this used to be bedrock, but now it is deep slate, which means I have, like I said, a huge abundance of deep slate right at my doorstep. And it is fairly quick to mine with efficiency five, but there is a way to make it even faster. And that is with a full beacon. Yeah, all of this used to be bedrock, but now it's just deep slate. But first, if I want a beacon, that means I need three wither skeleton skulls, which means I need to go and find a fortress. But I have just realized my sword is not that good, so I think it's gonna be worth making my helmet and also getting myself a proper sword. So with that, I'm gonna head on over to Amnadon's villages yet again, and I'm gonna hope that I can find the books either from the villagers or in his uh, chests with enchanted books for sale, so I can make myself a very good helmet and also a very good sword. All right, after shopping at Adam and Don's place, I finally have everything I need to at least make a very good sword and a decent helmet. So for the sword, I have two looting two books, which I need to combine. Sweeping S3, Respiration 3. Wait a minute, that goes there. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong place. So two looting books, Sweeping Edge 3, Mending, Sharpness 5, and Unbreaking 3. And then for the helmet, Unbreaking 3, Aqua Affinity, Mending, and Respiration. I unfortunately didn't get a, prote a Protection 4 book, so this will have to do for now. But we have plenty of levels 
to keep re-enchanting a helmet. So I think we will be all right. First, we're gonna go, go ahead and make the sword and also make the helmet. I'm not even gonna waste time uh, trying to enchant this thing. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put everything on it. Mending, unbreaking. Uh, I, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna put that. Uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't really add, matter which order this goes in. But there we go: mending, upbreaking three, sweeping edge three, sharpness five, looting three. Way better than our current one. Huge upgrade. Now the helmet I will need to enchant, and for that I'm gonna go ahead and borrow end of us enchantment table because I don't have mine set up yet. So yeah, his balloon is very easy to get to, so I might as well. Uh, protection three, I guess that's better. You know what? Mm, no, protection, I want protection four. <laughs> I want protection four. Oh, well, there it is. Protection four, you know what? That's, that's perfect, that's all I wanted, that's all I need. Now all I need to do is put on unbreaking, aqua affinity, all right, respiration and mending right here so now we have pretty much a full set of very cool armor except for the boots that could use some uh, protection four on it but even that is fine okay the chest plate definitely needs an upgrade as well but i barely use it because of the elytra but now i can focus on finding a fortress and getting the wither heads that i need to make a wither boss that sounded weird to make a wither boss to summon the wither boss that i can then use to summon make a beacon None of that really made any sense, did it? All right, I did a little bit of research and it appears that we have a fortress not too far away from us. Whoa, that is kind of scary, but also kind of cool. So I'm going the wrong way, actually. We need to get to minus 400 and minus 560. So I will meet you there. Question is, how easy it will it be to navigate to that spot? And here it is, and I'm immediately greeted with a gas shooting at me, too, actually. But we're gonna quickly... Okay. There we go. Like I said, we're gonna quickly shoot them down very epically. Which we did. Yes. Definitely. Alright. Here I am. And I've already seen... I already see my prey. Alright. Getting three... Getting three uh, skeletons here shouldn't be that bad, actually. Or too difficult. The blazes, on the other hand, is gonna be a little bit of a challenge. I'm just gonna jump down, and I think because this is the Soul Sand Valley, the rate of these uh, Wither Skeletons is actually going to be. Whoa. Oh, hello. It's actually gonna be. Ow. <laughs> it's actually gonna be huge. Ow. Whoa. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. Fly, 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 fly. Ooh, I got down to three and a half hearts. That's not cool. <laughs> okay, I think I need to change my game plan a little bit. That was creepy. I think it would be a matter of... Well, they're everywhere. They're really everywhere, so they can come up behind me very quickly. Okay. I think I got this, though. Whoa! Hello, sir. Hello. 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 Hi. How are you doing? All right. I'll be back when I have my first skull. <laughs> Which is not even a minute later. Got the first skull. Alright, that was actually rather quick. That was actually not too bad. Alright. I just gotta keep doing- Whoa! You scared the living daylights out of me, buddy. Not appreciate it. <laughs> ah! Oh, dear me. That's a lot of them. That's an army. Right. And that's the second skull. And that's the third one. I'm out of here. Oh, that place is a death trap. Right, now I just need to manage to find my way home. I have one and a half stacks of bones. Hello. Yeah, this is not the right way. Wait, what is the right way? Um, I guess this works. Yeah. Well, I see a portal here. I don't know who this is going to lead to, but it can only bring me closer to home. I can't be bothered to find the whole hub area. Well, I'm certainly in a cave. Um, some cave. I don't know where I am. I know where I am. This is kids a base. Kids a base? It's kids a base. It's kids base. All right. Which means I'm very close to home, which is awesome. All right. We have a little bit of a slight problem here. 
when we converted the world to 1.18, we also accidentally got rid of the portal. Well, basically, we completely wiped the stronghold. So, yeah, that's an issue. I was on my way to uh, to deal with the wither the good old-fashioned way under the, uh, the end portal, but it appears that I'm not able to do that. Unless... Spirit did go ahead and find the new stronghold that generated right next to it. Now, hopefully, I'm not gonna drown from this. Oh, and at least right over here. Ah, oh, okay, so we're missing some Eyes of Ender. That's fair. Well, I was gonna deal with it the good old-fashioned way, but... Yeah, I guess I will have to deal with it the old old-fashioned way underground in a cave. All right, I have just spent some time powering up my bow here to power four and unbreaking three. Hopefully this should be able to do the trick. But the good thing is, due to the new update, actually getting lower down to the steep slate might actually be, 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 blah, 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 be beneficial because this is should be tougher to break through so the wither might be a little bit more contained. So I'm now at Y level six. What I will then do is I will go here Oh, there's a cave nearby. That's not ideal. Hmm. Not ideal at all. Oh, this is a huge patch of tough. Oh, lapis. Wait, lapis. Lapis could mean diamond. So face north, go with three blocks or so and dig down. Oh, more lapis. Okay, but I'm not, I'm not even done searching this one. I've not found anything, so I'll try this one instead. How about that? Well, I haven't found any diamonds, so they're probably up that way, but I am now at bedrock, so I think what I'm gonna do, actually, is I will be going up a few blocks here. So maybe Y level, yeah, my, my Y level minus 50. And then I will dig a little bit of a place here for me to be, AKA my bed, make sure there's space to respawn, respawn point set. And then I will go about 20 blocks in this direction. <laughs> my heart is starting to pump a little bit. I don't have golden apples either. Hopefully I won't need them. All I need to do is defeat the wither. I, I, I'm a pro Minecrafter. I... Oh, not like that. That's a pretty bad incident to have right after saying I'm a pro Minecrafter. But, um, yeah. Here goes, I guess. I have a full stack of arrows. I have infinity as well. My new sword. Yeah, let's just go for it. So my strategy will be shoot it from over here. And then go in with the sword. And I should be all right. I saw Edavard do this, he managed to do it, so I should be able to do it too. Alright, we're doing quite a lot of damage with the bow already. This is good. Oh, Silverfish is bad though. <laughs> Wait, we might get some Wither Roses. This could be good. Alright, and then just punch it with the sword. Come on. Come on. Ow. Ow, we got this. Easy. Easy. Got it. Whew. Okay, a little... I, I got a little bit scared at the end, but you know what? It's fine. Ooh, we did get a Wither Rose. That's cool. Oh, we got we got a lot. We got three. That's not bad. And we got an invulnerable Wither's head. <laughs> awesome. All right, we got another star. We got... Yeah, not bad stuff. Not bad stuff, actually. And Avat did give me high hopes that I was going to win that because I saw him do it. And I don't... He may have used potions, but it seemed pretty easy. So, he helped give me a little bit of hope. <laughs> I will need to do some research on the ores, how they now work and function. Because when diamond generate and whatnot, I don't know. People say it is easy to get diamonds now. Well, let me tell you, I'll be the judge of that. So far, though, I feel like iron is a lot more rare. Diamonds. We found diamonds. Was that it? But was that just one ore? I can't, I can't see. Was that just one ore? Yep, that was just one ore. I do now have one little bit of an issue. That is, I need to find my way back. All right, and after a very successful mission, we can now make our very first beacon. Perfect. Now, what is not so perfect is that I don't exactly have enough resource blocks to make a full beacon. All right, a little bit of an update. I have actually gone ahead and spent 22 diamonds over at Amradon's iron, iron farm here. And, well, I have a stack and 16 blocks of iron now, which is still not enough for a full beacon. But I do remember Chemistic telling me that I am able to use his iron farm. And you know what? I think that I think that's a fair trade because I 
keep this place pretty much kind of loaded with my chunks. So, do you think he would? I don't. I don't. I don't think he would notice if I just somehow just like look at all these. This it's yeah. This is just obviously a waste of resources. Um, yeah. Would you look at that? We now have two st two blo stacks of blocks of yeah. We now have enough. I mean, he did tell me I could take from it if I ever needed iron. So, yeah. And I made more space for him, so I'm, I'm kind of doing him two favors. I made space for more, and I'm kind of keeping the chunks loaded for him. So yeah, so the beacon has been placed. Now I need to go to those coordinates and dig a hole straight down to give the beacon access to the sky. And according to the coordinates, it should be right here. So all I need to do is dig straight down and hope I don't hit the pocket of lava or something. And... There we go. Beacon activated. Haste. Haste 2. I link it in. And boom. I should now be able. Yep. This is what I wanted to be able to do. <laughs> uh, insta mining. Yep. Never gets old. Now how fast can I actually... I can mine Deep Slate pretty quickly now. That's awesome. That's what I wanted. So now with the beacon in place, I'm going to do a little bit of a mining session. I will be mining up a bunch of Deep Slate, which we will be using for the shop. And I will also be going to that geode and completely mining it up. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's jump in to a time lapse. Let's get mining. All right, so after a quick mining session and after taking down that geode, we now have a bunch more calcite. We also have four, pretty much four stacks from the previous projects that we have done. So now we have a lot more calcite. Hopefully it's enough to make the storage thing that I want to build. I also got a bunch of smooth basalt, but I didn't actually get to take all of it. I do have a project that I want to do over at the Amethyst. Maybe in the next episode, we will have to see definitely in the near future. I also discovered you can actually pick up these clusters with a silk touch pickaxe. I didn't know that. Now, as you saw the time lapse, that wasn't the only thing that I mined. I also mined this huge area right here, which has resulted in a bunch of stone and also a lot of cobble deep slate, which I will be taking some for today's build. I will also be needing some diorite, so that's perfect. And I think that is everything from this chest. All right, so without any further ado, let us finally get to work on this thing. I gotta excavate this area right here, and then we gotta build it. And I think it will look pretty good once it's done. So without any further ado, let's get to building. Let's go. And there we go, the storage barn has now been constructed. So just to take a quick look at it, of what we have done here. So the walls are made out of this calcite, and I've tried making kind of a gradient, where at the top there's more diorite than the bottom. I, th I think it looks okay. Now to fill out the wall, so it's just not just blank, I have actually added these, just like I added at the house actually. Compost us with azalea flower leaves and these trap doors to kind of make it like a potted plant. And then I added these in between. They don't need to be there, but they add light, so it works. And I have actually added it all the way around. And this part over here was kind of tricky because, well, I had to remove part of the hill here. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have been space. But I think it looks pretty good. I really love how the entrance looks. I actually do want to add vines as well, but I just didn't have any. But I think that will add some color to the thing as well. And of course, the roof is bordered with uh, deep slate. And then in the middle, we have spruce wood. Now, as of the inside, as you can see, it is completely empty. And unfortunately, we are out of time for today's episode. But we will continue in the next one where we will be adding chests and also the redstone sorting system. Yes, we will actually have and fit a redstone sorting system in this thing. And I'm very, very excited to get started with that. So stay tuned for the next episode. In the next episode, I also want to direct my attention a little bit to the marketplace because so far we don't have that many things for sale. We have, we have chocolate boxes, we have glowing sack, we have deep slate and spruce logs, which haven't been sold. We need to do two things. One, we need to add more items and two, 
we need we need to do advertising I, I, we haven't, we haven't, I, yeah, we need, we need to do advertising. All right. We need to do advertising. We need to do marketing, marketing. Aha. It's a marketplace. You do marketing. We're going to do marketing for the marketplace. Aha. Now, apart from the two things that I mentioned, I actually want to make a little bit of a farm in the next episode. It shouldn't be a very difficult one to make, but it should be very, very, very good and beneficial, but I won't say what it is just yet. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing and enable those notifications. Also, I have a Discord server if you wish to join that. Link down below in the description. But anyways, really hope you have enjoyed this episode. We will be continuing this and doing work on the marketplace in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. But anyways, I really hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.